Crohn's patients. This one's for you. So today I really wanted to speak about a few things that have changed in my day-to-day -day life consumption wise. If you're new to our channel, welcome. My name is Stephanie and I am a chronically ill person with disabilities. I am also diagnosed with Crohn's as well as undiagnosed with a few other things that we're still trying to figure out. So welcome. Today I really want to talk about three things that have come into my life since I've been diagnosed with Crohn's. Things that have helped me kind of battle really bad severe Crohn's attacks and or mitigate them in some way shape or form. First things first is this lovely array of hydrant and or things that you would put in your water for electrolyte reasons. This journey started when I was consuming a lot of Gatorade and we were just seeing the sugar content and things like that. And it's really not made for patients or people like me. They're really made for, you know, sporting and things like that. So we're trying to find an alternative that was just healthier and just made more sense and had more of what we were really looking for, which is really that electrolyte piece of it. I first started doing some research and found a brand similar to this one, which is called Rehydrate. Um, it's actually the American version of this one, but we couldn't get it here in Canada. And so my search continued and I found Hydrant, which is also an American company. They have a bunch of different flavors. I actually really, really like their flavors. The sugar content and things like that are fairly low compared to some of the other alternatives. They're not great. You still get it's four grams of total sugars. Now their sugars are primarily coming from fruit juices. So it's not the worst sugars in the world, but it's not like perfect. There's not a lot. They're 25 calories per packet and they've got a bunch of different variety packs. So we had bought a couple variety packs, tried them out. I really did like them. The flavors are really good. I felt like it was making a difference. But the electrolyte side of it wasn't the main reason Hydrant exists. And so I was really looking for an alternative that would be more on the medical side of things. And we found this. So this was actually purchased at Costco recently. Costco brought these guys in about two months ago. And I'm like, oh, I got to give this, this a try. This is equivalent to the original Canadian American brand that I was talking about and their like medical grade hydration, like almost like saline drip in my veins version of it. And I was really excited to find this. Unfortunately, the taste is awful. <laughs> Luke actually doesn't mind it as much, but for a Crohn's patient who has to have colonoscopies, I will warn you that the orange flavor colonoscopy prep is very, very, very similar to this. So if you don't like that flavor, expect the same thing from this. Unfortunately, that really sucks. And I hope they come out with a different flavor one day, but I still keep it around because it is the highest grade sodium replacement electrolyte version of a drink I've been able to find on the market that I can get my hands on here in Canada. As much as I don't like it, I will just down it when I need to, when I'm really having a really blood flare up and I just can't seem to keep water down. This has been the best alternative by far, but you gotta suck up the taste because it really doesn't taste very good. I don't like it anyways, so you can give this one a shot. The nice thing with Costco is if you try one and really hate it, you can return it. So that is an option. Unfortunately, just due to the nature of what it is, we decided to keep it around the house and I still drink it, even though I don't like it. In Attack also came out with this about a year and a half ago, right as the pandemic was hitting. So timing, fabulous. It's called Immune Essentials, but essentially, if you look at the ingredients, it's very, very similar to what you would see in an electrolyte drink. And so I really like this. The flavoring's fabulous. You can literally just add it to water. It's great. I don't use this necessarily in a flare up. If I'm having a really, really bad day and can't keep anything down, I have one of these because I can just chug it down and keep it down. Whereas this, you gotta like add it in a full glass of water. And so you gotta consume a fair amount of water as well to be able to get the full effects of the uh, immune essential. So this is like my flare up needs. This is something that we've purchased once. It is fairly expensive. We do intend on buying it again, just because it, ha it gives me another option. And then I have this on decent days where I'm not really worried about necessarily, you know, 
I can consume water, but this supports that consumption on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is this is what we keep around from an electrolyte version of the drink life. It's something that you do need to keep in mind as a Crohn's patient. You want to stay hydrated, especially if you're in a flare-up and you're having a really hard time keeping things down or just, you know, just having a lot of nausea and stuff like that. This is just a great, these are some great options for you for sure. I would highly recommend that you at least, you know, give one or two of them a shot and see whether or not in a flare up, they help you feel better. Next up, we've got milk. So in the last two years or so, I've noticed that I've become fairly lactose intolerant. Cheeses and things like that don't bother me so much, but milk in recipes, even just cooked in or even splashed into a recipe at the end, was really starting to cause me pain and just wasn't sitting with me properly. And so I had a chat with my family doctor actually about it and she recommended Fairlife. Now, the first thing I'm gonna say is Fairlife is not, not inexpensive. A 1.5 liter, which is not even a two liter, costs you about $6 or so, depending. I can sometimes get them on sale for 450, but not very often. And not all grocery stores carry them. We usually get ours from Superstore, I really hope one day Costco starts carrying them in bulk, but eh, one day, hopefully. This has been the best option. When she told us about this, we instantly switched and we have not looked back whatsoever. This is the only milk we carry in the house anymore. We don't drink a ton of milk, but we use it in a lot of recipes. And so this was just a great option because that actually keeps. So it is technically still milk. It's just they've removed the lactose out of it. Um, and so it still does come from a cow. It is Canadian, it's high grade milk. You've got no concerns there. It is not cheap. But if you're having a lot of issues and you really love your milk, I would highly recommend you switch over. This has been a godsend from a perspective of me still being able to make certain recipes that I just love and that were really causing me a lot of, you know, IBS like attack symptoms. Next up was in a flare up when I'm really not hungry, don't wanna eat, all those lovely things that us Crohn's people know very well. I was having boosts or insurers or things like that. And I just hated looking at the ingredient list and all of that from those companies. None of them were very healthy. And I'm not saying this option is great either, but the protein intake was low. They were expensive. There was just a lot of things I just didn't like about them. And I couldn't find an alternative that really made a lot of sense that was high in protein but still gives you, you know, some calories and some things that your body just needs to, you know, to keep going when you're having a really bad flare. And so we found these lovely things. They are technically considered a protein drink. They've got 30 grams of protein. They only have two grams of sugar, which is super impressive. 150 calories, which is similar to some of the insurers, but those would be a lot lower in uh, grams from a protein perspective. We bought a couple packs of these from Superstore and then Costco actually brought them in in bulk. So we've been scouring the city to get them in bulk here. Costco's, they carry them every so often. They get a pallet here and there. They've been testing it out. Apparently they are supposed to be starting to stock them permanently. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. But the nice thing is they keep super well. So there's 36 bottles in a carton from Costco. We usually buy two or three at a time, put one in the fridge, leave one downstairs. They last forever and they actually taste really nice. They're chocolate flavored. They do have another flavored one if you're looking interested in it at Superstore, but the one that Costco carries is the chocolate one. So if you're in a flare, having a really hard time keeping anything down, I would highly recommend you give these a shot. They're just a great, great option. My doctor is super pumped that I've been drinking these. They've been helping me a lot to just, you know, get some nutrition in when I'm really having a hard time doing that. So next up is not for flare ups, but more a craving that I started having after I started going on more of a Crohn's diet. And I shouldn't say diet, more removing the things that my gastroenterologist really wanted me to stop eating. So things like beans and lentils and primarily corn and things like that. So I was having a really hard time with popcorn. I really, really love popcorn. The buttery and salty flavors, they're just fabulous. Like I just, I just don't know what to do without them. So we'd been scouring a few different options for me that would be better. And we found Ritz Crisp Minis have a popcorn flavored bag. Now, 
I will be by these when they're on sale and I do have them as a treat because they're still not the greatest thing in the world. Ray Yoda, Baby Yoda, Krogu, whatever your name is. So I've been having these instead and they, they, they fill my itch for popcorn without giving me the massive pains that is popcorn. And so they have a lot of flavoring and things like that. And so if you're looking for an alternative, if you love your popcorn and you've either just been still having it because you're like, screw it, or if you really have stopped having it, but you've been really wanting and craving something, I would highly recommend you give these a shot. I love them. I have them when Luke's having popcorn, when he feels like it, when we're watching a movie and things like that. And they are fully gluten-free. Flavoring honestly tastes almost like cinema popcorn. Is it exactly the same? No, but it's as close as I've gotten. So that's it for today, guys. These are the, the three things that have kind of changed in my life in the last little while. If you have any suggestions, have anything that you've tried that you've liked or haven't liked, or if there's a product that you swear by, I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. If you have any other thoughts or comments, by all means, leave them uh, uh, down below. If you like this video, please like it. it. Really helps us out, helps the algorithm of YouTube do its thing. Till next time, don't forget to slow your roll and breathe.